Pregnancy during residency sucks. Overall, residency sucks. But being pregnant during residency extra sucks. I can't walk around the hospital because I get so short of breath since my diaphragm is being pushed up against me. I can't sleep well at night, so I'm generally not well rested enough. I'm constantly paranoid because my pregnancy brain may or may not realize that I forgot something. I try to be cautious and considerate of my patient, but as a senior, I realize I don't have the energy to teach my interns as much, which makes me feel bad that I'm not being optimal for them. I have nothing but the highest respect for this person and any other person who is going through something like this while doing residency because I can only just imagine, you know, residency is already tough enough for me and I already feel like I'm already behind on so many things that I want to study and look up all the time. But imagine doing all of that while being so bloated all the time, short of breath sleep deprived and all of that kind of stuff. It's just kind of amazing. And I'm not trying to just virtue signal here or whatever by making these videos. Like the other one, I made the video about how female residents are treated way differently in residency than male residents are. But like, seriously to me, it's, it's actually kind of crazy that somebody could go through pregnancy while they're in residency. And I should know because my mom was actually pregnant with me during her internal medicine residency during her intern year, which is just absolutely insane to think about. So I'm a product of just exactly what this person is going through right now. I think this just really gives me some perspective that, you know, however bad I think residency might be for me right now, there's somebody who's going through it in a way, way more difficult circumstance or situation. And it kind of makes it seem like, wow, maybe I should be feeling a little bit better about my current situation because I, that would be so tough to go through. Was a pregnant surgery resident. Take breaks to sit, eat snacks, drink water, don't lift anything. The pregnancy brain turns into mom brain after baby and it will jiggle all of your priorities. It likely already is. It's okay. It's all okay. For me, I tried to use my knowledge of medicine to try and remember how cool it all is. You're in a terrible crossroads of your career where you want to get the most out of your training and start a family. You won't do it all perfectly, and that's okay. Keep you and your baby as healthy as you can. Sleep is a lost cause in my opinion, but keep trying and give yourself some grace. I guarantee everyone around you thinks you're a rock star. It's okay to agree with him. P.S. Belly belt and compression socks every day. <laughs> I think this is just such a huge dilemma, and it's so true. Like this terrible crossroads of your career where you want to get the most out of your training and start a family. That's just so difficult to juggle that because you want to be the best possible doctor and the best possible resident you can, but you also don't want to delay your life. I mean, we have lives outside of medicine and it gets to a point where when, when you're going through pregnancy like this, it's like, man, I can't devote myself 100% to my craft and 100% to my profession. But to be honest, I think that is a healthy thing because we really shouldn't be postponing our lives constantly because of medicine. And and honestly, I think I'm kind of, you know, I'm making all these YouTube videos about medicine all the time. Like a lot of times my brain is just thinking about medicine. And so uh, I, I could definitely use some more help in this area in like developing my out of medicine, you know, hobbies and stuff again too. It's just so hard. I can't imagine, you know, having to make that decision and go through that. First, do not feel bad that you don't have time and energy to teach interns. Interns, myself included, are tired, overwhelmed, and honestly okay with a senior who isn't up to the task of teaching. Like super okay with it. Sometimes it's even better. I don't have the energy to be taught a lot of the time, lol. Second, this is a trash system that doesn't give us the time or space to make baby babies, which we absolutely effing deserve to do. So good for you for making it happen. F them, you're, you're a badass and my idol because I'm struggling and I'm not pregnant at all. Exactly what I was talking about. I'm not pregnant and I'm still having difficulties. So, I mean, this is just crazy. I hope you get the time off you deserve with your baby and congratulations on becoming a mom. I really like this this look is that, you know, I, first of all, I totally relate to the original poster where it's like, I feel like I'm letting my interns down. I'm not doing teaching. I really want to be like the best senior possible. I want to be doing the best for my patients. But then it's also like, Gosh, if you're pregnant, you have to take care of yourself first, too. Well, your attending should be stepping up. Residents aren't slave labor. Also pregnant medicine resident. I hate it. I'm tired all the time. My legs hurt by the end of the day. I can't keep up chasing after rounds. It's hard. I don't know if it gets any better. Honestly, at this point, I'm just waiting to deliver this baby and get my maternity leave with him. Just counting down the days. Medicine spouse. I'm 30 weeks. I'm currently not working. I don't know how you're doing it, girl. That third trimester of fatigue is kind of hitting. And yeah, I never get a full night's restful sleep because I'm waking up two to three times throughout the night to urinate. And sometimes I just wake up because of pregnancy insomnia. It's hard. Also, my tolerance for standing on my feet for long periods has been reduced. I think for you and me, this should just bring perspective that we do have it tough, but there are situations where people have it even tougher. And I feel like for me, it's just motivating. Um, it's kind of motivating for me to know that there's people out there doing this. And then it's like, man, if they're doing that, you know, I should be able to do this, right? 
you know, you listen to those um, famous people who are, you know, really successful in what they do, like Kobe Bryant, like working out, working super hard all the time, or who else? Um, uh, Will Smith, when he was, uh, there's always that quote where he was like, I, I'm not, you know, potentially the fastest person on the treadmill or whatever, but I'm going to work harder than everybody else or whatever. There's some quote there. I'm, not, I'm definitely butchering that really bad. And also maybe he's not the best example recently because of his recent drama like within the last year. But still, you get my point. It's motivating to see people who are doing the thing. And then it's like, man, if they're doing the thing, I should be able to do the thing too. And if they're getting through this and they're pregnant, I should be able to get through this uh, while I'm not pregnant. Now, I don't want to downplay anybody who's struggling out there because I know residency is very hard and people do struggle a lot. They get mental health issues. You know, it's hard. It's really hard. It can be hard no matter your circumstance. But I did want to just give a shout out to the people who are, you know, pushing through with things like this. And um, and it kind of made me appreciate my mom more because she had me during her intern year. So yeah, no real point to the video other than just saying that's pretty crazy. <laughs> so thanks again for watching. I'll see you in the next one and peace.